Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie for the kitting up video of Supernova from Dreamer Designs. Hopefully you caught the unboxing video. If not, I'll pop it into the eye in case you want to watch that first. Before we get started kitting up all of these wonderful 67 colours in the kit, let me just tell you that I do it slightly differently to a lot of other people. I tend to kit up according to symbol. So as we go along, you'll see me probably swap the tubs around and create my own system of being able to see the colours really easily as I'm diamond painting. I just find that a lot quicker than looking for numbers, then looking at the symbols to find the colours. Another thing about my kitting up videos is that I tend to use my own colour names and then perhaps use my blue book to check the official DMC names. So hopefully we'll have fun together doing that throughout the video. I may not get the official names for every colour because there are 67 to get through today. So I hope that you've got a nice drink, a little bit of a snack and a diamond painting on the go as we go through the video. First job though is to complete my logbook because I haven't yet put the sticker into the logbook. So that's where we begin. The logbook that I use, I actually created this system to be able to keep a good track of where I am with each diamond painting. So I've got an unboxing section, a kitting up section, which is where this one will sit, a section for the diamond paintings I've started and a section of those that I've completed, plus some notes at the back. So that's my system. If you like the thought of doing it this way, again, check the eye for the video to do with how I set up this logbook, where I bought things from. The links are in those descriptions. Okay, so we need a new sheet for this one. We'll take this lovely big sticker off here and we'll pop it into the middle of my page. Now it has got a lot of detail already on. We've got the title, we've got the artist, we've got the diamond shape and the size and the start and end date already on this sticker. So lots of information if you don't have a sheet like mine. I will complete the start date once I actually start the diamond painting rather than the kitting up. So for now, I've turned it over. I've got my list of things that I like to know. So the kit name is Supernova. Artist is Dean Russo. Bought from Dreamer Designs. Painting size, yes, 120 centimetres by 60 centimetres. A whopper, this one, full of bright colour. Type of diamonds, round. Amount of colours, 67. And we do have ABs in this kit, so tick. Notes, massive canvas full of bright colours and that's where I am going to leave it until I get started with the diamond painting and I may well put some more comments in as I go through. So that is all I need to do. Pop it in the right section which is this one because we will be kitted up very soon. Well I say very soon, it's probably going to take a couple of hours. <laughs> right, so we've got the pre-cut stickers on here. Now on the unboxing, I did mention that they are slightly higher cut than um, where they should be, but you can still see the symbol. Um, so I'm going with it. I need some scissors. Okay, I don't use the numbers at all during the kitting up. So I tend to cut 
down the stickers before I start without cutting all the way along so that they will still show which number they relate to for the packets. So with this one, because we've got some nice spare ones at the end, I'll cut down this way instead. So if you prefer to kit up by number, fair enough. Like I say, I prefer to kit up by symbol. Right. I am going to be using an Elizabeth Ward style storage that I actually bought on AliExpress. And you'll see here that I have in the past kitted up by numbers. However, for this kit that I did this for, these were the symbols. <laughs> so there were a lot of number symbols in that kit and I left the stickers on in case for whatever reason I in the future wanted to use the numbers instead. So I'm hoping that these little stickers fit on so I can keep those on for another time. I am going to use a basic white funnel tray for the kitting up. However, it, if I do get quite a bit of static, then I may well swap to my translucent tray from Diamond Art Club because I do find that this one is good when we've got static drills. So fingers crossed that we don't have that problem. We'll see how we get on. Perhaps another thing to mention is at the moment I've got my windows open because it's quite warm in the UK today. <laughs> so you may well hear Monty barking sometimes and I do apologise if that happens. Hopefully he'll stay asleep and it'll all be fine. <laughs> okay. Look at all of these wonderful bright colours. <gasps> what joy we're going to have today. Okay, so we've got the packets. I am going to go in number order, even though I don't go by number. It seems with Dreamer Designs, it's easier to do it this way. So we're starting with packet number one. And it is, unfortunately the sticker's not cut for that one there. Let me just, yeah, okay. So we're going to stick the symbols on the left hand side. Open the pot. Now some of these packets I know won't fit into these little tubs because this storage has all of the little tubs. Once I finish one of the other diamond paintings, hopefully soon, then I may well swap to a bigger tub for some of these colours. For now, I'm sticking to all in the little ones. And look at this colour to start. Quite a subtle colour. I'm going to say a soft lime. It's like a yellowy lime, isn't it? They did fall out of the funnel sides, these ones. One colour done. Second tub for our second colour. Number 166. Oh, still got. This isn't a great start, is it? <laughs> Still got a couple in there. It's yeah, better. So, number two packet. Another lime colour. A brighter lime this time. So, I'm just going to call it lime. 
Do you remember the drink, lime and lemonade? Oh, I did like that when I was younger. I haven't had one of those for years and that's just reminded me. May well have to get some. The number three packet is a lovely purple. Can you see what I mean about these stickers being slightly cut wrong? But I, was still, I still can see the symbol clearly and I do have the number. A bright purple, mid purple, Number four. Two o nine, which is a lighter purple than the previous one. I'm going to say classic lilac for this one. On to number five, a swirl, and it is another lilac, although paler. So far, all of the packets have fit into these little tubs, which is great. Good news and are going in really well, so no static that we can see so far. I'm going to take that out as a triangle. Um, dots. A triangle. I'm going to keep that together. So I've already started sorting out some of the symbols as I go along and I will explain as I change them because it may well adapt as I see all of the different symbols. So next we've got number six which are the three tens and we do have a lot of these three tens. One, two, three, four, five packets. So, as I say, once I finish the other painting, I will probably use one of the bigger Elizabeth Ward style tubs and change them. But just so we can get going, we'll pop them in here. And of course, three tens are our black. Coal black. <laughs> Six packets. And yet it's such a bright diamond painting. There's obviously a lot of outlining to do. Number seven is this staple symbol. Oh, I wonder if we'll fit all of these into this tub. <laughs> Look, we haven't got many of these. A very, very, very pale green. There's me talking about all of the brights and really we've had quite subtle colours so far. The palest green. Pop it into this random column. Next, we have an arrow. For number eight, and it is a red. Ooh, now then, now I think I usually call these colors like lipstick red. 
Look how beautiful that is. It is a definite lipstick colour for me. So let's have a look at the official name of this one, 498. 498 is simply dark red. So I can't argue with that. Um, it's an arrow, so it's going into this column. Next, we have a Tetris type of symbol for number nine. Again, wow, <laughs> for such a big painting, there are not many of this colour in it. A hmm, pale grass green, maybe grass that needs watering <laughs> type of a colour. Let's put it here. Next, oh, it's another staple type sign. So that can go with the other one. 601, which looks like some sort of a pink. And we go onto a pink, a bright pink, this one. This would be too much for me to have as a lipstick, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't think it's really my colorway for a lipstick, but I do love the color. It's um, a very summery blouse colour, that one. Very bright. Carnival pink, what do you think? 601 is, and they always catch me out, dark cranberry. Dark cranberry. I'm sorry, but that is not cranberry, is it? I've never seen a cranberry that colour. Right. Next we have a T, so this will start a new column of capital letters and it is another bright pink. So I think we could probably guess the name of this one after the last one. And again, and before I even put it into the tub, that is not a cranberry, that is an electric pink. Let's see what the official name is. 602. 602, medium cranberry. Really, really. <laughs> Think about your turkey at your Christmas dinner and your cranberry sauce. No. <laughs> oh dear. I've protested so much, they have spilt out in protest. <laughs> okay, that was a T sign starting a new category. Number 12 is next, and that is a tick. <laughs> Number 12. And I bet they call this light cranberry as well. Such nonsense, isn't it? I'd love to know who called, who made up the DMC code names and what were they on? Sorry about the bangs you can hear in the background. The neighbours are in the garden. Okay, so do you think 603 is light cranberry? Light medium. Still cranberry. Still mm, annoying. <laughs> okay, number 13, which is a capital B. 604. Mm. So it's still annoying me <laughs> because this will still be another cranberry. To me, this is classic bubblegum pink. Bubble gum. Blow those big bubbles and get your friends to pop them. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, 6.04. Light cranberry. And guess what we have next? We have number 14. And number 14 is 605. Very light cranberry, do you think? Six oh five. Ballerina pink, if ever I saw one. Those pretty little tutus that ballerinas wear and their gorgeous silk ballet shoes with those lovely ribbons. Okay, 6.05. Very light cranberry, which I think we could have guessed. Okay, it looks like we're now leaving the cranberries behind and heading into 6.06. which is a bit like one of those catalytic, catalytic converters from Back to the Future. 606, oh wow. Bright red. Ooh, that is bright. I was going to say harlot red, is that too naughty? <laughs> It is quite an orangey red, this one. Really bright. Oh, I love it. Six oh six. Orange red, bright. Ooh, I'm getting quite good at this. Next one is another arrow in the air to match up with this one. 701. Ah, a little packet of this bright, bright green. Look how happy that is. And it's got a friend in the packet too. Just Christmas green, isn't it? Christmas green. Wonderful. 701. 701 is light green. Oh dear. <laughs> I wouldn't call that light green. I won't get grumpy about it though. So next we've got capital R. 704. Ooh, another gorgeous bright green. Oh, that is lovely. Um, apple green, I think. I'd love to have an apple that colour. Really bright and beautiful. 7.04. Oh, chartreuse bright. Chartreuse. Not quite sure what a chartreuse is. So I'm not arguing. Mm -hmm. I'll believe them. Oh, it's a little flower, the symbol for this time. Nice. 718. Again, a tiny, tiny amount of this colour for such a big diamond painting. Kind of wonder whether it was worth it. <laughs> Could be interesting to see when we're diamond painting this one. A bright fuchsia pink. I won't look at this one because I feel like I've looked at so many colours now already and I promised I wouldn't look at them all to save a bit of time. Next one is 722. A circle type symbol, 722. Ooh. Now then, let's see how bright this is out of the packet because it looks quite a s 
subtle orange this one and I think it's got a slight brown in it I do apologize about the noise in the background can't help it and the neighbors in the garden okay 722 and we have got oh, I've never had orange spice before what a fabulous name orange spice light oh, I love that name so <laughs> I might have to go backwards in whoever named these names what a genius <laughs> Okay, we're going to number 20, which is actually symbol two. And this is where I'm back to having a little moan because I do like the numbers in order. If they're going to use numbers as symbols, I do like it when they use them in the correct order. We've got lots of these, a lovely bright yellow. Yes, sunshine yellow. Sunshine yellow there. We'll have a look at the official name for that because oh, I bet it's not called sunshine yellow. Seven two six. Seven two six. Topaz, light topaz. Nah. Sunshine yellow. That's the name I'm going for. So we're starting a number column now. Next with an egg timer type symbol, but I might say arrows because it could be two arrows together. Seven three three. Another small pack. And again, back to these lovely greens. Now this one is very subtle. I would say a light olive. 733. 733. Oh, olive green medium. Okay. Yeah. So let's put this with arrows here. Now, would this annoy you having the numbers all out of order? That's what I'm wondering. Don't forget, I am looking at the symbols down this side and I will just ignore these numbers. Okay, next, which is a capital which is a capital P. And if you're wondering, I do actually keep these stickers with the numbers just in case in future I need to have those. So I do store those away. 22. Mm, now then. 739. Oh, now, do you know what I would call this? I would call that butter bean. Have you ever had butter beans? They are that colour, definitely. I'm back onto food again. I promised myself I wouldn't be on food this time and I've got bubble gum, I've had olives and now I'm eating butter beans. 739. Tan Ultra Very Light. Moving on, we have got a Q symbol, a Q symbol, 740, back to a bright, and it is bright orange. Wow, very, very, I'm going to call this one electric orange. It is super bright does have a green friend in with it, but we'll leave him in 
join the party. You can always take that out later. Seven forty. It's got to be bright orange. Oh, tangerine. Tangerine. We're in the orange family. Twenty four is the C code. Seven four one. So this colour will definitely be continuing in the tangerines. It's slightly lighter, not as bright. Juicy orange, that's what I would call this one. Juicy orange or juicy tangerine. <laughs> So C, pop it in alphabetical order. 25 is number six, again, grr, 742. A lighter tangerine. Again, just tipping out at the sides. They're not jumping, they're not staticky. They don't feel at all stac staticky, these diamonds. And there's no dust in them. And they all do look like a uniform sort of size from what I've seen so far. So, so far, so good. 26 is number four. Grr. <laughs> I'll have to start calling them tiger numbers. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> Seven four four. Two packs of these ones. A bit more yellowy this time rather than orange. Oh, and it's a lovely yellow. Ooh, now then, what does that remind me of? Hmm. It, it is a bit like a vanilla custard. <laughs> oh, I laughed and I've spilt them everywhere. Do you know, instead of forcing them in, I'm going to pop these back into the packet. That'll teach me for laughing, won't it? Vanilla custard, oh, yummy. There we go, so I've called this one vanilla custard, although with the really posh vanilla custard, you get the black dots in, don't you, from the vanilla pod. So, <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm making myself so hungry. Pale yellow, pale yellow. Yeah, it is a pale yellow. They're correct. An arrow symbol. And it is quite corally. I know they're going to call it something like salmon. I'm sure. Ooh, you know, like the lovely smoked salmon you can get on those canapes or in volivons if you're from the 70s. <laughs> mm. I'm going to have to move off food soon because it's making me, it's going to make my tummy rumble as well. 760. 760. <gasps> Salmon. Ta da! Salmon. And we've got an arrow, so we'll pop it with these arrows here, which is a U symbol. 761. Oh, now then. This is a paler salmon. Ooh, 
What a gorgeous colour that is. <gasps> so delicate. Oh, now then, I really want a t-shirt that colour. Mmm, beautiful. Oh. I call that one pretty in pink. I love that film. Although I didn't like her dress when she went to the ball. I didn't like it at all. But anyway, I like the film. And we're on to a Y code. 775. Look. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Now then. I would say this is a spearmint, spearmint green blue aqua. Maybe that's a better name. Coming off the food for a change. Aqua. So beautiful. Seven, seven, five. Baby blue, very light. It does catch me out, this one, because it's more of a green blue than a baby blue. Every time. <laughs> and we've got a symbol, which is like an H on its side. Like a drunken H. <laughs> A hangover H. <laughs> oh, let's not talk about hangovers. Right, seven, nine, seven. <laughs> I've only just recovered from mine. <laughs> Look at this colour. Look at that colour. Wow, wow, wow. What do we call that? Wow blue. That's what I call it, a wow blue. Oh, beautiful. It's a bit like the 80s eyeliner blue, that. Maybe that's what I should have called it. 80s eyeliner blue. Not that I'd know. <laughs> 797, royal blue. Wow, that's very bright for a royal blue. Gorgeous though. Next we've got, well, it looks a little bit like a hammer, but it also looks like a T, a tilted T. So that's what I'm going to put it in. 906. 906. Again, not many of these bright greens. Now we've already had a Christmas green. But this could also be a Christmas green. Hmm. Very, very nice. So we're going to put it as a tilted T. Is it well it's it's a bit like an equal sign on its side. I think we're getting to all of the symbols that I've had a little bit of um, <laughs> a good time. 912, now look at this green. Oh, <gasps> what do you call that? What do you call that? <gasps> Stunning. <laughs> Stunning green. I, am, I will look up the official name because I am flabbergasted as to what you would call such a beautiful colour. 912. Emerald green. Light. Okay. Emerald green. Next. Oh, we've got another one of these quite similar to that one but filled in. So we'll put those next to each other. So 
definitely going to put those next to each other in the in the storage so that they don't get confused they are different colors and there aren't many of these either so we're not going to be looking for them all of the time either now a brown a very lovely red brown red squirrel brown mm, that's a nice name even if i say so myself 918 red copper dark yeah that is a lovely color next one is an arrow up like a roof arrow <laughs> 920 oh this might get the price for the fewest diamonds in the whole pack look not many just wanted to come and join in so again I think that's the red brown family and we're going to put it with the arrows I think let's put it up there next we have another one of those egg timer type symbols this time on its side so again we'll make sure that they stay with the similar ones and again another red brown but this time with more orange in it i would say I think we'll have a look at the name i think it's going to be a red copper as the others were so. okay 921 921 copper. There we go, copper. Simple as that. Where were the others? Here they are. Okay, right. Moving on to our next symbol, which is a capital M. Mm. Now then, this is a nice colour. Quite unusual. Oh, oh, it's like it's got a hint of pink in it. Nude, I'm gonna call it. Nude. <laughs> Nine four five. Tawny. Okay. Tawny. Not as naughty as my name. <laughs> Moving on to the symbol N. You can hear the neighbours talking about their tomatoes. And I think this might be a ready one, <laughs> looking at the symbol. So is it going to be tomato red? Is it going to be tomato red? Shh, don't tell them. <laughs> hmm, maybe not. It's too orangey. Wow, another bright orange. I think they would probably be quite shocked if their tomatoes turned out this colour. <laughs> At least then they would have something to talk about. Anyway, stop getting me into trouble. 947. 947 is burnt orange. Nothing to do with tomatoes. Okay. Next symbol is number seven. There we go. Number seven. Back to the greens. Ooh. Aren't there wonderful colours in this kit? <gasps> now, it does strike me as a peppermint, this one. I know I said I wouldn't go back to food, but I already have in the last colour anyway. <laughs> so I'm going peppermint. We've had spearmint, this time peppermint. Nine, five, four. 
Nile green. Okay, Nile green. Well, I have to say that I've never been to the Nile, so I can't argue. <laughs> Next, we're on to a symbol H. Now, the other one was 954, so I wonder if we're still in the Nile here, still in Egypt. Should we call it, oh, now then, I've thought of a good name, although I think it's a bit greener than blue. I was going to call it Cleopatra Eyeshadow. Woo! But I think hers was more blue because it was made out of lapis lazuli which was a very blue, semi-precious gemstone with hints of gold fleck. So it, it wouldn't really suit. If, I, if the book said Cleopatra eyeshadow, I would argue the point, so. <laughs> 959, 959, sea green medium. Okay, they won that one. They won that round. That's much more sensible. So now, because I have run out of space of my alphabet, I am going to have to put some of the letters in the other column. And I will show you the complete storage case once we have finished everything. So we're on to the second row of the stickers. We're on number 40 and it is 963. which looks like a really beautiful pale pink. Let's have a look. It's got a squiggle. 963. And it is oh, a delicate pink. Oh, see now this is another ballerina pink to me. Perhaps, you know, the, the little tiny ballerinas. Yeah, like, you know those little girls that are just starting to learn. Wonderful. 963. 963. Dusty Rose Ultra. Very light. A dusty rose. Oh, do you know, I would love a rose that colour. Especially one with a beautiful scent. Gorgeous. Colour is a number three, even though it's a number 41. So, grr, tiger number here, number three, 964. Lots of this one. A bright peppermint. Now, what was it? Did I actually look at it? What was that colour? Oh, it was sea green, wasn't it? So a bright sea green. Oh, I mean, could you imagine being next to water that colour? Oh, I bet, I bet in the Caribbean somewhere the sea is actually that colour. So I think it'll be sea green medium. 964 sea green light. Medium light. You say medium, I say light. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. By the way, I am putting these aside and once I've finished showing you all of the colours, I will be sealing this with some sellotape and putting them aside to use as I diamond paint to fill up the tubs as I go. Okay. Next we have a cross, not the red cross, a blue cross. <laughs> it is bright. Have we had electric blue? I think we did, didn't we? And I changed it to 80s eyeliner. <gasps> Look, this is electric blue. Wow. I'm glad I changed the name of the other one because now I can have this one as electric blue. What will it be in the book? Take your guess now and see if you're right. 
995. 995. Oh my goodness, electric blue dark. I got it right. Wow. Now, do I have a symbol for crosses? I don't think I do. I'll pop it with that Tetris sign there for now. And we'll do... Oh, we've got another one of these egg timers, this time on a tilt. Hmm, got these stickers stuck together. There we go. That's better. I think I will feed back to Dreamer Designs about their cutting. It's starting to annoy me a little bit now. <laughs> three, three, four. Mm. Now, this strikes me as an orange with a pink within it. Look at that. Ooh, a juicy colour there. We'll have to have a look. I know I wasn't going to look at so many colour names, but I just can't help it. 3340 apricot medium. Apricot. Mm. Well, I said it was juicy. <laughs> okay, next. Now then, I think I've I think I've missed a sticker. Did it stick to that one? Yeah, because I've got number 44 next. Oh no, where did that sticker go then? It stuck to the other one, didn't it? Hmm, I don't know where it's gone. Okay, I'll have to put that one aside, move on and try and find it. Found it. <laughs> A little stowaway. Stick it on quick before it gets disappeared again. Okay. A dark, dark 3371. A very, very, very dark brown. Hmm. Be interesting to see what the name of this one is because it's a bit like raisin brown. Raisin, that's what I'm going to say. One, three, three, seven, one. Black brown. Ooh, can't argue with that. It is so dark, and it is a cross symbol. And next, we have a semicircle but most of the semicircle is cut off that one <laughs> back to pinks surely not cranberries please no <laughs> can't possibly can it I think we're going to move to the flower names now with these so I'm going to say fuchsia I think I said fuchsia earlier actually let's have a look 3607 3607 plum light plum hmm. no have you ever had a plum like that no right semicircle yeah to match with that one next we have a arrow to the side 3608 the last one was 3607 so we're going to be sticking with the plums. I'm not going to look at these because that's annoying, isn't it? Really? That is not plum at all. I think plum jam. Have you ever seen plum jam that colour? No. <laughs> I was going to say, can you think of any other plums? But let's not go there either. <laughs> Oh no, stop making me so naughty. Right. 47. 
I can't, no. I need to get plums out of my head right now. Okay, a little arrow sign with a line through. <laughs> right, let's quickly do this one. <laughs> oh. I need to get this one in quick. So I would probably say light plums. To me, it looks more like a piglet, doesn't it? Little piglet. Piglet pink. Oh, that's a really cute name. We're on to another arrow. And I think this one is going to be more of a red here. Mm, well, it has got pink in it. <laughs> See, this to me is more plum, isn't it? So we'll have a look at the colour of that one. I think we'll call it something completely different. 3803. 3803 mauve. Dark mauve. Okay, we're back onto safe ground again. And we're back into greens. Hooray! <laughs> Capital E symbol for this one, 3819. <laughs> um, well, it's the limes again, isn't it? A beautiful lime green, and I said lime green earlier. Did I say yellow lime green? Anyway, I'll have to say lime green again because I can't think of anything else that would suit. So three nine three eight one nine. Moss green, oh of course. Moss green light. Yeah. Again, I need to shut these up so I can fit an E here. And on we go. Oh, we've got another tilted T hammer type symbol. 3820. And look at this colour. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Now it's orange, more orange than the last sunshine yellow we had. Mm. What a lovely colour that is. I'm going to say butterscotch. No, it's not brown enough for butterscotch. Oh, I don't know. 3820. Straw. Dark straw. Oh, now it's messed it up because I've got the tilted T's. I want all of those tilted T's together, so I'm going to have to move them all into this row. Next, we're on to a right angle triangle. 3825. Hmm. Interesting colour, isn't it? It's um, wow, I don't really know how to describe that. It's a pinky orange, but it's got a hint of um, maybe a slight brown in it. Again, I'm onto a very, now this time instead of smoked salmon, I'm going to go cooked salmon. <laughs> 3825. 3825 pumpkin pale pumpkin okay so I'm going to pull these type shapes out of this column and put them into this one like that and next we have it's a bit like a tree symbol but I think I'll use them as arrows Three. 
3832. Now, that to me looks a bit like melon, like you know, the inside of a watermelon. It's probably a coral or something like that. 3832. 3832. Oh, raspberry, medium. Nah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, thank you. That's what I used to say to the children at nursery when I worked in a nursery and they were doing something I didn't want them to do. No, no, thank you. <laughs> 3837. Ooh. Oh, another little pack of a bright purple. Now you see, I this is what I would call royal purple. If you think of the sumptuous velvet in the crowns and on the typical type royal cloak. So again, apologies about the noise in the background. Um, okay, so 3837. 3837 Lavender Ultra Dark Lavender. Okay. And I thought it would be Monty that would be causing a problem today. There we are. He's been such a good boy, hasn't he? Next one, we have got a semicircle again. Ooh, Monty, the next pack with ABs in too. These look very neat. Did I open these on my unboxing? I really can't. I must have, surely. Gosh, I hope I remembered to show you the diamonds. <laughs> I might have to go and watch it again now. 3843. Three. Although too late now for me to... I might not watch it just in case I didn't. Because <laughs> I can't do anything about it now. Turquoise. Should we call it electric turquoise? Mm. 3843 is electric blue. Well, I thought we'd already had an electric blue and it wasn't in that tone. Oh, honestly, they make it up as they go along, as do I. <laughs> now, we had another semicircle somewhere, didn't we? Where was that other semicircle? Uh, Ah, oh, yeah, the pink one, okay. Right, a number nine symbol. Right, 3846, which again is a turquoise blue. Oh, wow. Bright turquoise. This can't be an electric blue. This has got to be in the turquoise family. So, 3846. Bright turquoise, light, hooray! We got this one right and I agree. Yes, it is. We've got an arrow looping over to the left for this one. And again, a really subtle, a really small pack of, now then, I would call this teal. That to me is a green teal, which is, teal is a mix of green and blue. So let's see what it says about that one. 3848, teal green, woohoo, got it right again. Next is the capital L. Now this orange definitely has a brown in it. Just a hint of, oh now then, this reminds me of pumpkin seeds, you know. Pumpkin seeds. Let's 
see what the colour is for this one. And it is 3852, which is straw, very dark. Oh, we're back on the straws. We were using straws a little while ago. I'm just going to use this tub here. Is a capital K, 3853. Now, ooh, another unusual colour. Again, it's orange with a bit of a brown in it. What was it last time? Straw, was it? This doesn't look like straw. So, okay, let's have a look. 3853. Autumn Gold, dark, what a lovely name, Autumn Gold. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colours to go. Not long now. Okay, we've got a capital A, which is 3854. An orange. Oh, this is going to be one of those autumn isn't it? Autumn gold medium, perhaps. Okay, five, four. Yeah, autumn gold medium. a lot of capital letters in this kit. Oh, put that on the side. Next we have a capital S 3855, which will be autumn gold light. Don't you just love when all of the trees change in autumn? All of those bright colours are on show. Oh, it's a lovely time of year. We're only just going into summer, though, here in the UK, so we won't wish our year away. Mm. So I have filled up two columns with capital letters and numbers, and I do have some more. So I'm going to have to move the numbers out and swap them around. We'll do that at the end. Okay, so next, I've got the number one symbol. <gasps> We're on to the ABs, ABs. Ooh, look how many packs of these we've got. Three packs of this bright yellow AB. have a lot of them in the picture. This kit is going to be so fun to work on. Right, we'll leave that there because we need to sort those out. And now I've got a capital O. So again, we'll need to sort that out. And it is two packs of white ABs. Do you know what? Oh yes, there was white in the picture. I was going to say, I couldn't remember white, but of course there was, wasn't there? Because we had all the twiddly bits in the background that were white. And of course, being AB, we get all of those colours playing in the picture on the top of those white diamonds. Gorgeous. Next we have, next we have, it's a bit like a petrol pump sign, AB38, 
a green. Seeing lots of blue and yellow play in these green ABs. everywhere. I did just throw them about. <laughs> so a petrol sign I'm just going to put in the random section and we move on to an anchor sign. Anchor sign AB22, AB211. Uh, oh, oh such a pretty AB being this lilac. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, they're like little lilac bubbles. So pretty. Next we have a line, looks like a red, AB666. Oh, oh, lots of gold coming off that AB, absolutely beautiful. It's a bit like a Christmas fire engine red. Just look at those colours there. Stunning. And I think that's in that sunshine face, isn't it? Ooh, that will be amazing. Next we have a Z symbol for a blue, turquoise blue AB, which is AB996. Is like a mermaid's tail, isn't it? <sighs> and last one AB three eight two three, and look how subtle this one is. Oh my, that is so delicate. Look how delicate those are. A golden AB with just a hint of other colours in. Really beautiful, really subtle. Absolutely gorgeous to finish with. Right, let's have a look at the tub. Oh, I didn't stick the sticker on. There we are, we need that symbol of a J. Now we're going to sort out the tubs, so I've got more letters and another number to get in. So what I'm going to do is look at these symbols first, see if I can sort out into any other sort of order, and then we'll progress from there. So I've got dots here, I've got semicircles, so let's put a blank one between. These are all my random symbols. So I'm going to take out these two staples. Let's get another blank one. In fact, I'm going to turn those blank ones around. Can I? Can they sit okay? They don't sit completely, no, they'll just annoy me. Let's 
turn them back around. Okay, so we've got our staples. We can put another blank one in and have the twirly. Then we can have lines with the tick, the equals and the line that way. And that line. And then we can have randoms. With a blank in the between. Actually, what we can do is push those down, have this one as a blank, so we've got arrows of different forms and then we've got our egg timer in different positions. We've got random symbols here, we've got lines here. I am going to move these crosses up here, the tetra sign and the two crosses, so that I can get the numbers here. So swap those numbers out. One, two, three, four, six, seven, and nine. And then I can get these letters in. So I need three coming over here. So I've got a J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, S, R, S, <laughs> R, S, T, 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 U, Y, Z. And that is them all in. So we pop the blanks back in. And there we have it. In fact, I don't need a blank there. So let's separate the numbers even more like that. There we are. All now sorted out into the lovely colourways. I mean, this box is a joy of colour, isn't it? <gasps> really, really fabulous. And we've got all of the symbols sorted out. So once I come to diamond paint, I'll be able to find these symbols really quickly, really easily and pull out the correct tub. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed watching the kitting up video. I hope that you join me for when I get started on this diamond painting. And in the meantime, please do subscribe. It's always appreciated and I love to have you alongside with me. Please leave comments, likes and shares and I'll see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care.